What is up guys and welcome back. So now you can see that everything is looking totally okay. This is how our website is looking and now we're totally done with the e-commerce stuff. We now know everything about it. Okay, so let's just have a look at our widget section and then we'll move forward to the next one. So let's go ahead and let's go to the shop right here and you can see that this is the widget section that we have right here and I know that this is not looking good. So we have to work on it a little bit and then we'll move forward. So let's just go to the vid, uh, dashboard right here. Okay, and then let's open this up okay so I want to go to the widgets right here in the appearance and then I'm gonna go to the widgets right here okay so here basically I want to show something um, that um, that extends my website okay so let's just come here let's just remove everything from here because we don't want them so I'm just gonna come here I'm just gonna come here I'm gonna hit delete to here let's just delete everything let's just delete everything that we want we will add it later on but um, I'm just doing this for the tutorial purposes so let's just come here let's just delete it and let's delete this as well so now first of all what we need is that we um, need to just add the filter products by price I just really like it and some of the websites do use this like eBay use this let me show you how eBay use this so um, what is this like you can filter the products by price so if you search a product then also you can filter the products by price in here and it works really amazing so let's me let, let me just come here to this right here okay if I just search for the hoodie okay um so let's suppose that I searched here and then you can see that here would be the filter price option um, let's go down here we go you can see this is the filter price that I um, just really like it you can see um, I can enter the dollar here and then this would be the two dollars that how much dollars and then I'm gonna hit this and then it's gonna show the price range that we have so same like this we have the condition we have this like this so I'm just gonna add the filter by price let's come here and let's select this to be like the ad budget so you can see that on clicking this now I'm gonna come here I'm just gonna come here and I'm gonna hit this so you can see um, it's gonna tell me this filter by price so it is just showing me the full price and the, the lowest price so this is 10 to 30 so if I just make it below here like 10 to 20 then I'm gonna hit filter right now and it's gonna filter all the products that we have so we have five results and you can see um, they are just filtered if I just make it a little bit more smaller I make it 10 and then I hit filter then you can see and it, this is just showing the 10 of the uh, the product uh, the only the product that has the minimum ten dollars okay so this is how the filter price works I just really like it that is why I um, I'm just adding it and I would recommend you to add this because it enhanced the look of your site and your website looks good so I'm just gonna go down and now I am going to just add one more okay and that will be the filter products by rating um just I like this one so I'm just gonna add this and um most rated products average product so it's gonna um filter the products on the rating of basis on the basis of rating so let's just come here let's just refresh the shop page okay you can see that we have the average rating so I'm, I'm just gonna select the rating that I want so uh, so since we only have the one product with the rating I can just um, work with this and rating filter is equals to one so it is just showing the fun rated product so you can use this but um, I would not recommend you to go with this um, just because um, I don't like it um, and you should not be having this the average rating one so I'm just gonna come here I'm just gonna click here and I'm gonna delete this so we have filter products by attribute as well um, like um, display a list of attribute to filter your products in your store so this is important you should be doing this okay uh, and attribute should be the filter by the attribute so it is not showing the attribute right now um, let me come here let me just select this okay let's just come here and let's refresh this page so on refreshing it should show that um, here we have nothing so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna add the, a list of drop-down categories for the product so I just want the product categories right here and I want to add the widget so this is important you should be doing that and then we have the category order or the name so um, I'm just gonna go with show as drop-down you can also show show product count only show children of the current category okay so hide empty categories the children means that um, 
one is the main categories that is appearing and the other one is the subcategory that is the children so you can work with this like um only show the children like the subcategories do not show the parent categories so then we have the hide empty and the order by his name so i'm just gonna go ahead i'm gonna hit done right now and let's come here and let's refresh our site So here we have it. You can see that on number one, we have accessories. Then we have hoodies. We have non-zipper hoodie, zipper hoodies, t-shirts, men and women. So every category is right here. We also have it like here. So you can see um, it is totally up and running. It is totally working. Now I'm going to go to the products by rating okay this is also important so i'm just going to hit top rated products and number of products to show so it's going to show five products i just want to show three products okay here we go i'm just going to come here i'm going to refresh my site and let's have a look so it is just showing the top rated products so this is the top rated products obviously so that is why it is showing um only one single okay um now i'm going to add one more and that will be the sale product so um products okay let's just add this okay and it's going to show on sale products okay so i'm going to enter the title name so get them grab them before they are gone okay so the number of products would be um like um i need to show two Okay, and the order by is this, hide free products, show hidden products, no. So I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to hit save right now, and let's just go ahead and let's have a look at our site. So this would be totally up and running. So you can see, grab them before they're gone. So you can see that we have this right here, okay? Um, now I want one more thing, and that is um, a Facebook page like box. That is important, okay? So um, for that, we can go with the... Um, um, the plugin okay so let's see that we have any of the facebook page like box in here okay if you don't have it we can install the plugin so i'm just going to go to add new okay so if you want to do anything there is a plugin for that guys okay? seriously you just have to search it like facebook okay and af and on after searching it you will find it i think i like this one i'm going to go ahead i'm going to hit install right now and you can see that it, this should be installed so let's wait till this is done i'm just going to hit activate right now and this should be activated so now let's go back to the widget section okay okay it's not activated right now let's wait till this is done okay and once it is done we'll just have to move forward so this is the easy facebook like box is right here okay um this is uh, showing how to use plugin how to use this but you don't have to um, use it because it will automatically create the settings in the widgets area so i'm just going to go back to widgets area right here and i'm going to refresh my display so we should be having um uh, the facebook page like box easy facebook like box you can see and this is the one i'm just going to add it i'm just going to hit sidebar and i'm going to hit this okay so here we have to enter the facebook page url so i'm going to add the facebook page url and then I want the title so the title would be find us on Facebook okay um, now I have to go down and we have everything here make sure that you just keep it as default there are some things that you can move on that is responsive so it should be responsive because um, it will just drag its size it will just keep its size according to the sidebar so make sure that you use this one and we don't want to show post we don't want to hide the cover photo um, hide the CTA button no use small header okay let's just go ahead let's just hit save and let's have a look at our website right now so i'm just going to refresh and here we go this is being loaded so once it, once it is loaded you can see how this is and it is also responsive okay so make sure that you check it if you do not check it that it, then its size would be like it would be coming here or it would be coming here and the full page would be like um grabbing so make sure that you check the responsive one and now, and now you can see that we are totally done with our facebook page okay so now we're also left with one more thing and that is um that how many page how many uh products to show in here Okay, so you can see that it is showing six products here. So once you add more products and there would be the pagination, then you can move forward. So this is how it works, okay? So now you can see that we're totally done with our basic site. This is how our basic site is looking. And now we're totally done. In the next video, we'll be moving on with installing um, the new website and we'll build it the professional way. So stay tuned, guys, and bye-bye.